Let's get straight to the news line. Missouri Senator Roy Blunt, kind enough to join us this morning. And, Senator, there's an awful lot to talk about because there's an awful lot of scandal in Washington. Good morning. There is a lot going on, E.J. It's nice to talk to you this morning. Uh, conservative groups targeted by the IRS. That's uh, where, where we're going to start this morning. Will we get a fair investigation of this by Congress and the Senate? Or... Might we might we get folks that won't be happy until a witch hunt finds somebody in the White House responsible? Because right now the indication is this is all internal IRS. Well, we really don't know, and uh, I, I actually think this is so outrageous that there there will be an investigation, and I suspect it will be bipartisan. And uh, um, I, you obviously you want it to be fair uh, when these things have happened in the past. Usually the Congress has been able to rise to the occasion in a bipartisan way. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to see. I mean, it is it is bad behavior. Uh, it was a pattern of behavior. And uh, the IRS, in, when asked about this by members of Congress uh, and even in a House Ways and Means Committee hearing, uh, didn't tell the truth. And uh, somebody's going to have to answer for that. Uh, and hope, hopefully it was uh, not at high levels in the government, but, you know, why would low-level functionaries decide they wanted to go after groups that uh, uh, were Tea Party, were Patriot, were 9-11? Is, uh, is, is that such a big issue that some under, underling in the, just, in the uh, IRS decided, I'm going to question those people more than we've ever questioned anybody else? Uh, that might be the answer, but it's it's certainly a, a hard case to make. I think Senator Politico asked an interesting question this morning. Did it? Did these scandals happen on the president's watch, or was it caused by his watch? Is there something that the Obama administration is doing to encourage this? Well, I, I do think the Obama administration has used the the, the ability of the government to control. Uh, activities more than any administration I've ever seen. I mean, clearly Obama thinks that government is capable of great good and perhaps not capable of much that's bad. And it's the balance of that that is the uniqueness of, of our system. I, I mean, the, the president, when he doesn't like a law, he just decides he's not going to enforce the law. Uh, that's, the, that's one of the attitudes that's clearly been out there in this administration, and uh, so does that carry over to other people who work in the administrative branch? I don't know, but it's clearly part of the Obama White House. So uh, and there have been a number of laws that the president said, I don't agree with that law, so we're not going to enforce it. We're not going to defend it. That's not the job of the president to make that decision. Senator David Cameron was in Washington to talk about Syria and the belief that chemical weapons were used while all this was, was breaking. What are we overlooking, uh, the important issues that we're overlooking because of these scandals? You know, I had a, a closed briefing on uh, Syria yesterday, and not anything that I would divulge out of that briefing, but I think clearly... The, our problem with our policy towards Syria is we really don't have one. Um, I think there was an editorial in a major paper today, I think it was the Washington Post, that said uh, we've gone from discussing a few, a few days ago about providing weapons to insurgents in Syria to now saying, no, what we really need is a peace conference. And it does seem like with that policy, uh, just goes from one side of the, of the, the spectrum to another pretty quickly, uh, and there's no policy there. In the end of the day, uh, what's the most important? Our, our policy about the Middle East or something that we might focus on that's not as big as that um, is, is a hard decision to make, and you never know that until you look backwards and see what the what happened as a result of the things you focused on and the things you didn't focus on. Senator Roy Blunt with us this morning as we uh, talk about the latest out of Washington, much of it written with scandal. Senator, appreciate your time as always. Thank you. Hey, good to be with both of you. Hope to see you soon and um, hope that uh, the weather in, um, in um, Kansas City doesn't turn out to be um, too, too rainy or dangerous today. Not too bad, sir. Thank you very much.